Right, I'm back. Now, I did say I would come along and show you how to do this particular flower. I've done it, but I've made it different. <clears throat> I've not turned this over as much, and I've added three of these in. It's more like a shabby chic pansy. And to do that, I'll show you. You need a strip. So this is approximately 20 centimetres long. Now, I'm doubling mine. So you take your ribbon, you can do it as um, wide as you want, this is an inch wide. I'm just going to seal mine together best I can and do the same on the other side. I like to round the edges at uh, the corners off. Seal that off like that, just get rid of your rubbish. Uh, take my needle. and just join that together like that I've got that on my needle like that I haven't threaded mine at the moment you only need a little bit of cotton So I'm just going to flatten mine at the end. My needle's not very good. I need, I actually have some new, let me just see if I can open that up using a blade. That's the problem. It's got squash somehow. I don't know how. I'll use the blade that way, Fiona, don't be silly. I want to do this without actually um, busting the needle. I probably will bust it because I'm like that. Just need to open it up a little bit. Hmm. Kinda sorta. Of. I got the I picked up the wrong needle to do this, that was all. Just hang on, let me try and get this blade in there. It is opening it up, but I don't want to bust this off, you see. So I've done it before with lots of needles. Let me just... And I don't want to throw the needle away if I can get more use out of it, do I? There. So, I've got that on. Pull that through like that and then you just tie that off like that don't pull it too tight just enough to gather it all and I triple knot mine like this and you can just cut that off see and then you've got that petal but fold your petal back. Now the tighter you do this, the more, I don't know if you can see, it's, it's just a folded back petal. That's all it is. If I were to undo that, I'd have the same as what I've got now. So that's all it is. And then you do three of those, which I've folded out there. But I like my flowers like this. You can do a lot more with them. So, to do that, all you do is overlap them. Just going to overlap mine like that. And you're making like the, um, what did I call it before? What did I call it? Pansy. <laughs> I couldn't think of name then. You're just making like a pansy flower. And they're really nice. See, like that. It's so easy. Oh, the glue strands drive me nuts. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You can get rid of them. I don't want to get the heat gun out there on them yet at the moment. I'm just going to put the flat back pearls. We do sell these in bags of 30. A 30 or 60, I can't remember. 30, I think. Just 
and then you just pop that on there could have done it that side doesn't matter which way you do it and I can turn these in if I choose to a little bit like that but I like my flower like that they're really nice so I'm just going to do some more and of course you can do them in different colors um, mix your colors like you would a pansy so I'm just going to use some of the new ribbons we've got in fact I don't need to um, fold these I'm just going to cut the size I want. I'm using the wrong scissors as well. Um, just fold that together while I shape it. Where's the other scissors? I have to be really careful with those scissors, they're quite sharp. So I'm just going to run the seal that off like that cut this one as well so you can do it with ordinary ribbon as well as chiffon or or ganza whichever whatever it is you want to uh, use now i'm just going to cut some thread now that I've opened that up a little bit more. Yeah. And again, we just... So this is going to be like that little pansy flower. And I only do one petal at a time with uh, with this lot because I don't want them to um, overlap. Uh, I want them to overlap my way, if you know what I mean. Uh, you can manipulate how you want the flower to be. You don't quite catch the thread on the blade properly it doesn't look right it doesn't go right see so i've got one like that so i'm going to do it same one again and then we're going to mix it You know, really, um, you should sit an afternoon or a morning or a couple of hours or an hour a day and just start making a collection of flowers, various flowers. And once you've got a nice tub full, what you can do then is when you come to do a project, you've got loads made ready uh, that you can pick and choose from. I usually have lots of flowers and petals and bits and pieces that I uh, use you know to make up a flower already done it is handy and it, and you can become a little bit more creative if you've got things in front of you that you can actually use see I've got those two now which can make my uh, flowers but I'm going to mix them and I'm going to do this colour which is slightly lighter you know to uh, do a contrast and this I'm just burnishing just sealing them off so they don't fray Now with this third one, I'm not going to uh, gather like I did before because I'm going to put a knot in the end
and re knot that again. So when I pull that down, it will be like that. I don't want to pull it in together like that. I'm going to leave it just flat like that and then stitch this off. So I want it to lay flatter. By gathering it in, it would have um, ended up like this, like a little cup. I don't want that. I want this to lay totally flat. Let's have a look. That will do, I think. Cut that as close as I can. Just move that to one side. So we've got that. You've two gathered and one flattish like that. Right, and then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of... Um, I'll take this felt that I've got here. Make it a piece of felt. I'm going to cut a circle. I don't want one too big. It's not even perfect circle. Not that it has to be. So there's my circle. I'm going to turn this upside down. Pop some glue on there. And then pop that on that. And then these two. Lay that side. So I'll have one there. And then I'm going to put one there. Let's do that. Move that around like that. Now I could if I wanted to put some stamen in there, but I'm not going to. I am going to use the pearl. Just to be different. So I'll have one there. One there. And then one there. And there you've got a multi flower, multi coloured. So, I mean, they're really pretty. You just have to play around. The other one um, is I'm going to use the purple again, is to just do a line. Like that. Take your needle and thread. All right, and then just do a full lay. Uh, this ribbon's about twenty six centimeters long. These are what I call uh, flower fillers. But there are so many different flowers you could do and you could sit like I do sometimes, you know, when I've got an odd hour to spare, which is not often, but I do get some time spare. And you can sit and just do several flowers. Like that. Let's pull this off. Um, just to tie that. You notice I didn't round the edges off on the ribbon this time because there's a lot of gather in it, so um, I don't need to do that. Have a look at this one. Oh, 
and then just make sure finger and thumb in the middle all I have to do now is to just join these two bits here see that's all I have to do for this one and then I can take my little pearl oh these glue sticks are just dripping out of this gun yes I know I've got the two new ones but I don't want to use them well I do want to use them but I want to get this sorted um, you know to finish this one off but there you go so we've actually got that kind of little flower so you've that one that one that one and that one so you can see those um, we can take again a different color which is the lemon one and I've shown you this flower before so I'm cutting about 22 inches I'm going to seal the ends first of all I need to cut this again you need to do that with it diagonally cut it like that that's fine you don't need any thread for this you just need to do uh, to be able to do that and um, what you do is you let me just turn it that way so the point is to the bottom section to the right or if you're left-handed then it'll be the bottom section left-handed left side and we just thread this on so it's about 22 inches like I said before push it down don't let it go off the needle obviously you don't need any thread whatsoever with this one okay so we've got that push it all you've got it all like that push all of that to the top and then you point, uh, thread the pointy bit through the needle if you can see it unlike me there we go now as you do it you twist twist the needle but then you need to pull that through and twist all the time you're doing that twist it can be tricky you can go back if you're finding it too tricky I'm pulling mine out a little bit I don't want to that's it like that. I'm just gonna twist mine around pull it and twist pull it and twist see mine's come off that is the whole uh, there it is now what I can do is if you've done a mistake like I have and not put it on properly you can put it back on so put your needle back through the hole back through that hole there all right grab that thread there grab that there what I had before and pull it a little bit more and again just keep pulling it through like that and it will work I 
you just have to make sure when you're twisting it that's it you're twisting that tight like that and there you are you've got another flower and then you can put some stamen in there or whatever you want to do that to me is too much i don't think you need these long at all like that so i'm going to unravel mine and i'm just going to cut it there and then all you have to do is to make sure that is stuck down underneath and that to me is a perfectly good sized flower and then i can add um a bling on that or whatever let's have a look let me just put that on there in the right place and then you've got another one like that like I say, I've shown you how to do those before today and a lot better than that. You'll just have to go to the video. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of different ways you can make flowers. And, oops, strands. Um, leaves, again, leaves are not hard to do either. And we do have all these ribbons in the shop, I have you know. So let's have a look at this. There's different ways of doing leaves. So this is the green. Now you can push that down, push that down. Right, which you're going to waste a bit, but you wouldn't cut it that much anyway. I would just do it like that and like that. And then you sew across the bottom. So I'll show you so you can see what I mean. Right, seal this off. like that take your needle and thread I'll leave some I knot it normally but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to just sew this across I'll bring that down as well See, so we've got that and then just tie this up so that is one leaf and that's like I say for the flower fillers see like that you've just got it for the fa uh, flower fillers so you have a little leaf like that so the other leaf you can do is like this take a um, piece of ribbon this one is 20 centimeters long and then take your tweezers and you want to go down approximately two centimeters you cut it make sure that's stuck underneath there seal that together just make sure that is sealed like that so you've got that seal off the ends like that and then you start one end like that oops let's do that And then go down the other side. Like 
and across the bottom again till you've got that okay and then what you can do is you pull them together like that and then I just tie them off and that gives you a nice summer's leaf like that so I'm just gonna trim that see that's a nice summery leaf and then like I say I can add on my flower like that or we can choose one of these let's choose one of these like that see how they look really pretty so I'm just going to glue that on and um, we'll turn the flower around and we'll do it that way like that so I'll make another one so again what did I say 20 yeah let's do another one because you should never leave those with just one it doesn't look right you need to do um, two leaves on a flower it just otherwise they look odd that's to me they do so again we'll cut this about two centimeters down And uh, there you go, a nice little gathered leaf. And then you can glue that. Turn your flower around. Like that. And you want them, you don't want them like that or like that. Put them underneath each other. Because that's what makes it. And that's really pretty. Now all you have to do is just heat that up and bend it back. Heat that up and bend that back. And that's fine. Oops, it's come undone a bit there. Isn't that pretty for a flower? See? There's so many things you can do. These... You know, you can just attach there. Like that. Obviously, that's... Uh, I would need to put another flower on there, a leaf on there. But there you go. Some nice, pretty flowers. Like that. So you can see them. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.